briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1966, the tragic case of Scott V. Fancher involved a devastating three-truck collision in Texas. The accident caused the death of driver E.F. Short, serious injuries to William Fancher, and mild injuries to Ray Scott. Short's estate sued Fancher, Petrofina, and Scott in an Oklahoma state court. However, due to improper service, Petrofina and Fancher filed a lawsuit against Scott in a Texas federal court, alleging negligence on the part of both Scott and Short. The jury found Scott liable and absolved Fancher, Petrofina, and Short of any liability. Scott appealed the judgment, arguing that the federal court lacked jurisdiction and questioning the exclusion of one of his expert witnesses' testimony. The United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit decided in favor of maintaining the federal court's jurisdiction. The court held that Short's counterclaim did not require an independent jurisdictional basis, as it arose from the same transaction and involved the same parties as the original suit. Furthermore, the court stated that cross-claims are always within the ancillary jurisdiction of the court and do not require independent jurisdictional grounds or venue objections. The court ruled that the trial court had not made an error in excluding Scott's lay witness testimony, stating that the admission of such expert testimony is within the trial court's discretion and can only be overturned if it is found clearly and manifestly erroneous. Ultimately, the court affirmed the judgment against Scott. In conclusion, Scott v. Fancher highlighted the concept that federal courts can preside over cases intimately connected to an original case, such as cross-claims, without needing separate jurisdictional grounds. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.